so I just wanted to come on here and share um, something that God did for me this week. And um, as someone who was struggling with her walk with God um, a year ago, when her grandma passed away, um, I just wanted to share something amazing that happened this week. So um, crazy. I got into like a freak accident on Sunday um, and broke my hand. Um, I am almost 29 and I've never broken or fractured anything in my body before. So this is um, a first. <clears throat> but um, during this scary experience, um, I was told I had to get surgery. And um, I have really bad anxiety, really bad. And I've just been praying all week and just reading scripture and seeing things on TikTok. Um, just pastors talking, motiva- motivational people just saying things, you know, um, amazing things about God, just testimonies, everything. And um, so I prayed and prayed and prayed <clears throat> about this procedure. And the day of the procedure, I just felt such a peace come over my body. I've never felt a peace like this in my whole life. I wasn't scared at all whatsoever to go into surgery. Um, I even shared with some of the nurses, like, it's okay, I trust in God, it's totally fine, Um, God's got me, like, all this stuff. So, my my husband was more nervous than I was, and I actually prayed for him um, to just trust in God and whatever he has for us, and that I would be okay. So, I come out of the surgery, I'm in a ton of pain, and um, I just pray, and I'm like, Lord, please allow this pain to go away. <clears throat> just put your hands on me and let me not feel this pain, so I don't have to take the, this oxycodone. Um, I didn't want to take it. They gave me a thousand milligrams. My friend, my best friend, um, passed away five years ago from an overdose, and. I just don't believe in <clears throat> taking drugs like that. Um, so I was just going to take Tylenol. Just extra strain Tylenol, ibuprofen, and that's it. I didn't want to have any other drugs. So um, that's what I've been doing. Um, and my surgery was yesterday. So, uh, and ice. <laughs> Lots of ice. Um, but I prayed to God to take the pain away. And the most pain I felt is really when I have to go in the car, um, which I try just to stay home. I don't really like going in the car because it is painful, but it's because I'm hitting bumps and things like that. But, um, so get this. So I started stressing a little bit and I'm like, oh, I've been out of work the entire week. I don't know what I'm going to do. We, our mortgage, our mortgage is almost due. Um, it's due at the beginning of the month. I'm like, how am I going to come up with this money now for the mortgage? My husband's like, we're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. I can handle it. We, we got this. We got this. And I'm slowly thinking, I was like, no, but we have like a ton of bills we have to pay. And I'm freaking out because... You know, I work hard too, and I I pay like four or five bills on my own, and he pays the rest on his. So I'm like, this is just not, I don't know what to do. And I'm praying, and I'm like, God, I'm just going to leave it in your hands. I've never done that before, just to say, you know what, I'm not going to stress out about bills, and I'm just going to leave it to God. I've never done that. I did it this time. And my boss texts me today to check in on me. And she's like, hey, I just want to let you know, um, I'm going to send you a check. I'm going to pay you for this week. I burst into actual tears. I'm like, what? I'm not even past my 90 day, like period of being at this job yet. And I just started bawling and I was like, Lord, you heard my prayer, like for someone who fell off and has been trying to get such a close relationship with him again in the last six months like to know that he heard me and he's been listening to me I was just overwhelmed with joy and I was crying tears of joy and I was just like I just thanked her up and down I was like you have no idea um how much you really just blessed us um even though it wasn't about the money like it could have been any other circumstances it wasn't even about the money it was that God heard me and he's been listening 
And if that gives you any hope today or any word of encouragement, I hope you guys just keep praying through whatever the circumstance may be. God is always listening.